Hello and welcome to Photo Education Online. I'm Larry Lursey and today's tutorial is on lens distortion. Um, what this is is when you create an image a lot of times using a wide angle lens. In this case this shot was done with a fisheye lens so it's a very wide angle and what that does is as you get out to the edges of the frame you see that basically the images things that are straight start bending toward the middle and so what we're going to try and do here is go in and fix this so that these buildings become a little more straight up and down now this is a very extreme example you can see that building is just way bent and so it's not going to be a perfect fix but it will certainly show you the technique and I thought this would be a, a really good example to use and so when you're doing one hopefully that doesn't quite have this extreme amount of distortion you ought to have no problem at all so let's go ahead and tackle this tough problem we've got our image here first thing I'm gonna do is go up here I'm in CS5 I'm gonna to go to filter lens correction which will bring up this screen right here now here's what you have to do first of all I'm gonna go down here and hit the little minus sign and back up a little bit I want to be able to see the whole image on the screen if you cannot see the grid here right here is the little button you hit show grid and that will turn on this grid that's going to give us some sort of a guide as to what is straight up and down and you can see here how far this building is is leaning off and this is kind of what I'm going to base my um, my adjustment on is trying to correct that building and hope that the others fall into line so what we're going to do next is over here you know you it actually will go in and try and detect what lens you used and make adjustments based on that but I like to go into custom click on the custom tab here and we're going to go down here to the transform area and what this is is vertical perspective so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this and start sliding it and I want you to keep an eye over here on this building so I'm going to start bending back and it's going to start straightening up now you'll notice as it starts bending it that some of the image is heading off the canvas where we can't even see it and we'll come back and fix that in a second but for right now I'm just kind of watching that line and I think that's pretty good right there you can see that line looks pretty much in line with with the with the grid guide if I look at this building here it might be a little too much that way but it's pretty much lined up so I think that's pretty good now the only thing I need to do is come back here to scale and start pulling this back until I can see all of the image or most of the image now what it's done is it's gone ahead and cropped that out because a lot of it's not usable now but I want to be able to go in and, and, and salvage a little of that extra information so I'm gonna scale back so that I can see all this once you've got it like that you come up here hit OK brings us back out into Photoshop now you've got a very distorted looking shot but uh, it's kinda of cool with that wavy edge around it but let's assume we don't want to keep that go up here and get our marquee tool And what we're going to do is just highlight the bulk of the area here. You can see I've got a little bit here that uh, is overlapping and a little bit here where the image isn't showing up. We're going to try and just fix that with a little trick here in a second. But So I've made my selection. Now I'm going to do uh, image crop. There we go. Now to fill in those areas, what I'm going to do is the trick that we learned a, a few videos back is using the um, marquee tool. I'm going to go ahead and uh, select just this top area up here, not getting the top of the building. I'm going to do Command T, and then just drag that up until it's gone. It gives me a little bit of a line up there, but it's not too bad. And I'm going to do the same thing down here. I'll probably just take a little of this water as well. That whole area, Command T, drag it down. And there we go. We've pretty much straightened up that building. Might have even overcorrected it a little bit, but um, you can see all these buildings down the middle are pretty straight, and the, the trees still look good. And there you go. We've straightened up the image and have something that doesn't look so uh, bendy toward the middle. So I hope that helps, and uh, be sure and check back for more tutorials later. Thanks a bunch. Bye-bye.